everyone, I've got an exciting video for you today. First and foremost, I have a giveaway prize that I won from Marna and Darren over at Dolls Rescued. I'll pop a link to their channel in the description box below. Marna often does hidden giveaways in her videos. This is my parcel, so let's open it up and see what we've got. Marna does lots of um, dolly crafts. She shows her doll collection. She also collects trolls, the vintage dam trolls. And Darren is her cameraman and assistant. <laughs> and he does a lot of 3D printing for her. Here's my lovely package. I thought I'd won a doll stand, but look at all this. <laughs> Wow, thank you so much. Look at this, it's like Christmas. Wow. Oh, oh my life. <laughs> Look at all this loveliness. Oh. So this is what, what I won in the giveaway. I won a doll stand, but I haven't got a doll stand. I've got two. Look at this. Here's one. So where's a Barbie to stand in there? So here's Jai on one of the stands, look. She's my Mycene doll and she's, I, the reason she's on my desk is because I was putting her top on her that was sent to me by the lovely Katie. And then the other stand is a lovely one, the same, but in orange. I love orange. Orange is a nice sunny color, I love that. Thank you so much, Darren and Marna. Very chuffed with those I am. And there's more, there's more, there's more. Mm. Now, on Marla's little note, it does say that some of the 3D items, look at this, look, some of the 3D printed items might need sanding, and she's even provided sandpaper. Can you believe it? Look at this ice lolly. This could oh, be lovely for my American girl doll, won't it? Or 18 inch dolls. And then. Look at these teeny tiny trolls, how cute are they? Can you see? There's a little tiny pink, a turquoise, a yellow and a green. Look at those. Oh, so cute. And look at these. These are 3D printed shoes, look. And what you do, you, you use, this is the sole of the shoe, like this. And then you put some ribbon or some tape across the top to make a pair of shoes. How good is that? Orange again, lovely colour. Green as well. And wow, there's four pairs in here. And grey and pink. Wow, they're brilliant. Thank you so much. Wow. And look, I've even got the sandpaper. <laughs> Wonderful. And then look at this. How good are these, honestly? Look at this little cup and sauce. Oh, I love that. There's cups and saucers. And there's a teapot. Look at that. Look at that teapot. I love that colour as well, actually. <laughs> I'm tickled pink with those. Thank you so much. Thank you, I'm delighted with them. How lovely is that? And that's not all. Wow, you've, you've spoilt me, Marna. You, you really have spoilt me. Marna and Darren, look at this. I've got another little bag here with some little dresses in. I'll take them out and show you in a minute with a little note that says, I did a monthly beginner's craft using these dresses and hats in September 2020. I thought you and Rosie might like to try one. We will. So we've got this lovely yellow and blue dress. Let's let me show you. Yeah, over on Marna's channel, I actually I have actually seen the video. It's of um, Marna making different things from the dolls' hats and dresses. Uh, she's altered the dresses in some of them, and then in the other, look at these cute little dresses. Look how cute that is. Isn't that a nice colour as well? Lovely sunny colour. And then Marna's done crafts using the hats. So she's made pants for 18 inch dolls. She's done pants. She's added some sleeves to some of the dresses. 
um, try, and she's made a cap. I'm trying to think of some of the other things she did. So yeah, she's done quite a few crafts using this hat and the dress set. So she sent Rosie and I two sets, look, this lovely pink one, and then the yellow one with stars on. Stars are my favorite. I love anything with stars on it. And then, yeah, the second one is this cute pink one, look at that. And, and uh, Marna's made bows for the hair. She's made bows like this for the hair out of the hat and out of what's left from it. Yeah, it, it, was a, it was a really good video. So like I say, I'll pop Marna's channel in the description box below and you can pop over and see for yourself. So Marna and Darren, thank you so much for that. That is wonderful. That has made my day. How lovely was that? So delighted, thank you. We shall have a lot of fun with those, Rosie and I. So I've already showed you Jai in the top that was sent to me by Kate. I had her trousers, but I didn't have her top. So delighted to have her in her outfit now. So thank you for that, Katie. Then I've been doing a bit of dolly dressing, um, making some clothes for some dolls that have had makeovers. I've got a box full of dolls that need dressing. So first there was this Ariel, she needed a top. And I've made her this top. What it is, is a broad ribbon. I've put a press stud on the back of it, folded it over and put a press stud on the back. I gathered it in the middle at the front and sewed on that star to look like a starfish. She had her bottoms already. And this is an aerial I got from the car boot for one pound and her hair was awful, but it, you can see it's come out beautifully. Really has come out lovely, really pleased with her. Then I have a few Winx dolls who needed outfits. So I've made her this little dress with a little belt on it. I put a little frill on the bottom. Really pleased with that. And that is her colors. So that's her. Then we've got this girl. I made her a skirt and top, like a boob tube, and a little skirt with a frill around the bottom. Really pleased with that too. Velcro's in the back. Then another bloom. I did her this outfit slightly different. She's got a top and a skirt, but the same colours again. And then the last one, I think she's called Icy. So I made her this, which is similar to what, you know, it's similar colours and similar style to what she should have on. So that's what I've made her. And then I have my Britney Spears. I've had her for ages, you know, and she's been waiting for a skirt for ages. She did come with a blouse on, but she didn't have a skirt. So I've made her that little pleated, little pleated skirt. So it, it's supposed to be a school outfit that she's wearing. So yeah, she's got her school skirt on that's her and then this style i made her a posh gown because you can see she's a, a posh doll look at that lovely face i'm not entirely sure which doll she is but i really liked her and what i did i made her that dress and this bit at the top is separate you can see that it's separate so she can have it on with or without that she doesn't have to have that bit on it uh, does close in the back with press studs so that was her really like that color i thought that really made her eyes pop so that was that and then my sandy doll i got her i got her an outfit from ebay which was this top and it was a little yellow skirt with symbols around the bottom but it wasn't quite long enough and really she should have a plain yellow skirt so I had this blouse already, I got the jacket from eBay and I just made a, a little yellow skirt with a little, I put a little press stud in the back. And this is very similar to how she is, is how she ought to be dressed. So chuffed with her and I've popped her on some of the uh, <laughs> white sandals that I seem to have an abundance of, yeah. So that's her. And then I made my American Girl doll a school dress. Chuffed bits with this school dress. Look how cute she looks in her school dress. So I made it in red and white 
small checked gingham, small square gingham. I embellished it with white ribbon. She's got a little pocket there that does work. I put some ribbon down the front there and sewed some little buttons in between the ribbon. And then I made her a little hair bow to match. And look at her glasses. Her glasses are from eBay. Really like those. And I also put the white ribbon around the bottom love that absolutely love her in that and i made it without a pattern um i do a lot of that making things without patterns and let me tell you they don't always come out right no they don't and then i've been to smith's today and there were lots of things that i wanted but i didn't buy them all i didn't but i did buy this i've had my eye on this for a while this is for my 18 inch dolls you can see it's a little gilet there with a t-shirt underneath and some sparkly leggings and then a pair of winter boots so yeah I thought that this doll looked really nice in that it's an our generation set it was 12 99 which seems expensive but when you think you can pay that for a Barbie outfit it puts it into perspective and you think well actually that's not so bad yeah love this furry collar on this love it so that's that that was my video for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.